Chris mentioned earlier that the Criff report uh, can be ordered online. Of course, we're all about delivering the report instantaneously to be able to build the operational efficiency and operational excellence of the finance team for each of the organization. Here, Criff is leveraging on proven methodologies and dependable benchmarking to offer scoring and predictive analytics and to be able to walk you through how you as finance professionals may be able to uh, order report or just see if the report or information that you need is available at CRIF. I would like to introduce and welcome to our uh, digital stage, uh, CRIF Philippines sales manager, Mr. Joey Donasco. Hi, Joey. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Arden. Thank you for having me here. All right. So um, again, uh, I would like to thank everyone for attending this event. Uh, we really appreciate um, your time uh, being shared with us. And we wanted to share with you also um, our best capabilities out there that we are introducing into our market. So my job today is really to introduce you to the platform that we are using. Um, this is the business intelligence platform and then also you can see that um, the url is really under company-report.crif.com.ph and you could actually uh, try to use that and you would be able to see the the front page already so let's go through the the functionalities of the portal and how you would be able to um, request reports and then also how you can log in so what are the available uh, products uh, under this platform so currently we have about um, the full report and the lean report. And um, the instant version of the said reports are the data that are read readily available for download. And some of the sample reports uh, for your reference uh, are also uploaded and decide which one would suit your needs. So basically we have the full report and then the full report instant. And then also the lean report and then lean report instant. So with this one, um, you could actually check and download the sample. So this is a sample of the full report. Um, then this is what have been shared with you and also discussed by Saab uh, previously. And you would have uh, a tons of data that would be very beneficial in terms of your decision making, whether it's going to be risk mitigation or business expansion. Now, moving on to the sample report of Lean Report. Um, okay, so basically this is a shorter, uh, shortened version of the full report. And most of, uh, most of the time, uh, this is more than enough for, for some due diligence check uh, for like a prospect or possibly like a potential customer on your end. And you wanted to have like a background already of that uh, specific company. And this would actually give you some um, shareholders list, um, addresses, um, and then also registered charges. So it's still a, a, a pretty much beefy uh, report uh, for you to use in terms of due diligence. Let's go to the payments methods. So with the payment methods, um, there are two types. Uh, we have the online payment. The online payment is for singular and immediate requests. Um, you can already use uh, or you can pay using debit card, credit cards, and PayPal. Uh, so if ever that you would need like a specific report immediately, like today, then you could already uh, go into this platform and then um, use your credit card, debit card, or even through PayPal to, to order a report. And you can immediately get that report if it's readily available. But there's also uh, another type of payment uh, method. Uh, it's through subscription. So first, subscription-based uh, payment method. This will give you the flexibility of actually using prepaid and postpaid payments. And um, your organization can also have like multiple users under one subscription account. And this would actually address individual tracking usages, hence being more efficient in your process. So that would actually save you a lot of time, resources in making sure that uh, you have everything uh, tracked and making sure that you are not overspending. So prepaid and postpaid also lessens the payment transactions uh, being processed by your team because as for prepaid, uh, it, it will only be like one time until uh, you have used up all the credits. But also for the postpaid, uh, to give you some insight, um, more often than not, it's usually like on a monthly basis, then we will just charge you on the consumables or the, the amount of uh, reports that you have consumed for that month. So in terms of processing, uh, in terms of uh, your finance, processing the payment, it would be really less uh, tedious for them to do that. 
But again, um, two options uh, are made available to you so that uh, it depends on your needs and you would be able to, to still get the report that uh, that your company needs in order to, to make um, a decision in terms of, uh, again, risk mitigation or even business expansion. Now, let's move on to um, registration. So you got to have to click here and then if you don't have an account, you get to this part of the page, register now. Registering to, to this platform, it's either can it can be a personal um, account or a corporate account. So personal account, again, it's going to require us uh, to input email, password, and then also the name and then also contact details. For corporate, um, again, email, uh, password, and then also the company name, and then also the name of the person who was trying to, who would actually receive an activation link uh, in your email. And then after activating your account, um, you can be um, routed to the page again, and you can start using uh, the platform. Moving on to this. So as an example, I'm gonna be using like a, a dummy account here. Um, in logging into this account or to this platform um when you try to log into your account uh you can immediately go to the archive um, and then the archive um, actually would show you the previous reports that you have ordered and also the, the the progress or the status of your pending orders as well this allows you to go to look back uh, at some of your order reports and other users under your subscription account would actually be able to see the same reports and this will have an impact in efficiency just like what we have always tried to uh, share with you on how it, it will impact your processing uh, method as well. So this will impact your efficiency and also cost as the group can also reuse the reports that's still available in the archive page. So every, and also um, just like this one, the in progress um, would actually be um, finished and, and after a few days, uh, then you will be notified uh, through your email as well. Now let's try um, searching for a company. For example, uh, let's use uh, one of the known companies here in, in the Philippines. Let's use Ayala Corporation. So when you try to use um, search for a company, then it immediately shows you possible matches of that company that you're searching for. Also, if you don't have, um, if the company that you're looking for is not actually here, and it's not in any of our options, then you could actually try to request a report of that company. So even though that we have majority of the business records in the Philippines, then it might also come to a point that uh, the company that you're looking for is not available in our database, then you go to a request report. So with this one, um, you have to choose whether what type of report that you're looking for, whether it's a full report or a lean report. And then you need to provide us the company data, which are the company name, and then also addresses, uh, SEC code, DTI code, um and then cta code then contact details uh number and contact email if there's uh if, if it's available then you could also provide some notes uh and then to provide more information about that company these uh information are critical in order for us to make sure that we are actually uh, doing the investigation on the right uh company that uh you're looking for so when you do that when you uh, submit the investigation, then it would actually prompt us uh, and then start the investigation on our end. Then you would see that in progress uh, in your archive already. And again, you will be notified um, on when the report is going to be available. Let's go back to um, searching for that company. So Ayala Corporation, when we click that, it would actually give us the options to what type of report are we able to uh, or do we need uh, from that company. So um, the available reports here would be the full report. Um, and this would require us to do uh, the fresh investigation and normally the delivery um, option would be two to 10 working days in order for us to update the report, but also the lean report. Um, the lean report, um, there's also like a fresh investigation uh, option there if you would need the latest uh, data set. But also um, there's the lean report instant uh, also uh, available immediately for you to download. And this is uh, this has been made uh, for you available 
for the CLI, uh, for the lean report mainly because the data sets are around this specific company is uh that's only required for the lean report is already available and it's already updated for but um for the full report some of the data elements would probably need fresh investigations that so that uh, the instant uh, full report is not available for you to use so with that, um, you get to choose, but also again, there's this, uh, the sample uh, report for that, uh, in case you haven't seen it yet in, in the previous pages, then you would have an idea on uh, what type of report, report you would be needing. And then you could easily go to, um, it's either go to, go to cart, uh, upload into your cart and then search another company and then also buy now. So for the buy now, it's actually going to give you um already the next page in terms of um how to go through the payment so but as for this uh, login account it's through the subscription and postpaid so if i go through um the the order request then it's just going to be charged against my account then i would be getting the billing towards the end of the month so that's basically the, the platform on how you guys are going to use that. It's very easy. It's very convenient. Um, to be honest, even though that you haven't logged in yet, um, you can actually immediately uh, start searching for a company. And if you find that company and start ordering, then it will just prompt you to log in so that um, uh, you could uh, actually start paying for it. Or if it's under subscription, then we would be notified under, under what uh, account it would be charged to. So that's very convenient on your part to your organization that even though that you haven't logged in yet, then you could actually try to search for companies that you might need. And if it's available, then you could already start logging in and start paying for it if you don't have a subscription account. So again, that's it uh, for my presentation. Thank you very much for staying and listening. And Thank you very much, Joey. And from my understanding, Joey, because uh, mm -hmm. most of, I mean, as we are at Griff, right? And for most, uh, a finance manager it's also a question of the uh, data in compliance with the data privacy act does that um is the uh, platform compliant with any data privacy in terms of consent gathering consent generation yes. all that? yeah good thing that you mentioned that I, I was able to include that in the presentation so if you're looking for a company that is sole prop um and um, in compliance to the DPA, uh, we would require like a consent form um, coming from that person because a sole property, as you know, is attached to an individual and everything, all of the information attached to that uh, company is all, also belongs to that individual. That includes sometimes the TIN, sometimes the, the phone number. So um, we would need a consent form. So we are very compliant. We are very critical in terms of uh, protecting the information uh, not just of our users but also those people uh, that are behind those businesses the sole prop businesses that are registered in our in our database and so that's how we protect also the information individual information and we are very compliant to the dpa thank you arden thank you very much joey there's no